less than the framework for a new Cree nation. Many pieces would be needed. It would be slow work. Income security was the first, but we also wanted control of our education, especially given the past experience of our leaders with residential school. There had to be a transfer of education programs from the Department of Indian Affairs to the Cree School Board from the, uh, from the, from the order of Jesuit priests the order of gray nuns in, in, in the north to the Cree School Board. They didn't want uh, the authority, the control taken away from their hands. And when we went to, to meetings with priests, I remember one priest telling me, you're a savage. You're a savage for what you're doing, for breaking up an education system that we have spent years in building. We used to learn the Jason and I was too chonder. We should be bound to know the aim and I did to chonder the last of this world order. My young lady did manage to go to the land and the last of this world order. My child always scared me to have no one who did that. My son did mad on the land and the last of this world order. That's the aim of that. The first resolution passed by the Cree School Board Commissioners was, a, was one that recognizes the Cree language as a language of instruction within our own learning institutions. Savages. That was the mentality that we were up against. Income security, education were good first steps. We also got the governments to agree to the relocation and building of new communities for Waswanapi, and then it's gone. But still, there were problems. In a certain